Hey all, welcome back to Dungeon Strengths and Space Shuttles, and I've been grinding and grinding. Uh, yeah, the new Gajira album bangs. Anyway, <laughs> boy, uh, I have a checklist to go down this episode. Um, and the first thing is uh, finally getting that minor upgrade because I I, I uh, I've noticed a slight issue. Um, when it comes to my progression that I'm going to uh, do, probably in the future, uh, I don't have platinum. <laughs> I don't have no platinum at all. I have these five bars and that's it. So what we are going to have to do is just upgrade our void or miner finally after I don't know how long. Where even is our assembler? <laughs> uh, is it in here? Uh, assembler, 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 uh, <laughs> I don't see an assembler anywhere, uh, is that even what it was called? Yeah, it's called an assembler, if, that's, if I don't, if I can't find the assembler, I'll just make another. Or maybe it's down the toolbox or in here. I don't know. Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, okay. So the first thing we are going to do again, as I said, is going to we're going to upgrade our um, tier one minor to a tier two minor. Finally, after I don't know how long. And for that, we're going to just quickly um, deconstruct it uh, because we are going to. Um, it's not a, a multi-block structure that just gradually upgrades you have to uh, rebuild it every time pretty much uh, you want to upgrade it so let's just get all the blocks all right careful nothing should fall down here okay and I think that's it yeah that's it okay uh, I also need to empty out these crates, probably. Anyway, so we have 24 tier 1 frames. Uh, I already prepared this crafting recipe, uh, so we can upgrade these to structure frame tier 2. Um, this only takes a bit of uh, Tribarium. A lot of Tribarium, actually. It's two stacks of Tribarium, which uh, you have to take times 5, uh, because, uh, you know, you need five, uh, Tiberium to make, uh, one Triberium. Uh, that's a lot. And I actually do have, uh, Tiberium ore being, uh, I don't know, like being processed down there in our, uh, uh, triplication, uh, machine. Yeah, now. Anyway, um, there we go. Structure frames tier two, and... The next thing we need is null modifiers, uh, four, and I think that's about it. Uh, I think you actually need less structure panel than before, uh, but I might be talking out of my ass here. Okay, anyway, uh, oh yeah, the white miner. Uh, so we gotta upgrade the white miner itself, so let's quickly do that. Nothing too complicated, just a bit of seismum, uh, mana diamond, steel casing. We've seen this pretty much. The data storage circuit, I just bought them with some money. I should probably make the master assembler now, so this doesn't take uh, as much resources as it used to, but yeah. I mean, I've got the money from like the last couple quests, so let's just make it really quick. And this bad boy uh, allows us to get some more stuff. Uh, namely, I think platinum. So let's... Hop, put this guy down and start constructing it. Uh, I might have to... Okay, I need to get rid of my shield here. Uh, because I... This might... I might have to move or make a bit more room here because... I might not be able to fit it in this way. Oh, this torch right here. Uh, <laughs> die, please. Open your eyes. Uh, okay, and get the Master Assembler back. Or just assembler, the master assembler is the machine. And there we go. And now, if we go and press U on the void ore miner in our inventory, we can actually see what it uh, picks up now. Uh, now it can pick cryonite, which is the next step uh, for our void ore miners. And it should be platinum in here. Yep, there it is. There's platinum. Uh, is there anything else that is really interesting that we could get from tier 2 now? Uh... I think 
How did I mention all shots new? I don't know. Uh, rock crystals. Uh, get some easy starlight going. Um, I think un this is unexpected material new. I don't know. Um, but yeah, platinum is the main catch on this, and I might have to empty out uh, this a bit, filter it. Um, or just, you know, actually process some of it. And you know what? I think I might actually do just that. Uh, let me just quickly re equip my shield. Um, there we go. Uh, just anything like that I can just throw in the polarizer really quick, like uh, Elorium, gold, uh, just that kind of stuff. So, what's my plan next? Okay, so we got the tier 2 miner crossed out, and uh, so we can get some platinum. Um, why do I need platinum in specific? Well, let me tell you. First off, I want to start dimension hopping. Problem is, you start dimension hopping, I need a, uh, is it the dimension builder? Right, a dimension builder. Problem is, look at this shit. <laughs> Supremium plates and platinum uh, plates. That's platinum for you. Uh, these teleportation cores, um, nucleum, uh, and this CPU core right here. That is also pretty expensive. And at this point, I think, you know what? If I'm gonna make these really expensive cores, I want to uh, make a master assembler and. I don't know if I'm going to start with my Syngas production yet, because I don't really have the power for mine yet, but that, I'll, I'll, I'll see. Anyway, um, so Master Assembler is on the list. What else is on the list is a uh, portal to Alfheim. Now, why is that? Well, I've been able to avoid making a portal to Alfheim because I got lucky and got some Elementium from dungeons and I think loot bags. I'm not sure. Uh, this might have been in the previous world where I got Elementium. I do have a faint memory of that happening. Um, anyway, uh, so I was able to avoid that, but the problem is uh, boosting mixture. Because boosting mixture, the item itself requires you to make elf class flasks, which require elf flask, and the only way you can get elf uh, class is, uh, well, through Nelvan trade with the portal to Alfheim. So we need to do that. Uh, thankfully, um, that is no problem anymore. <laughs> Why, you ask? Well, let's take a look at our Terra Steel Seeds. Oh boy! <laughs> yeah, they have been uh, growing steadily, um, as you might imagine. We now have two and almost a half stack of seeds. That's almost a full field of Terra Steel, uh, uh, Terra Steel Seeds. Yes, words. They are needed to communicate. Anyway. So let me get a bunch of this. Uh, I think I do have. Uh, hold on. Uh, Master Sampler. Yeah, there we go. And just let it craft. We're gonna just stay here. Get up. You know, this is a dream state. Like, this doesn't look real to me right now, but we have multiple stacks of Terra Steel now. <laughs> so. Empowered Emeratic, Empowered Dimatine, no problem anymore with how much Terra Steel we have. Seriously, this is insane. Anyway, um, put all this Terra Steel in here. Five, we have more Terra Steel than we have gold. I'm goddamn crying. Anyway, um... But, to, uh, also, I was gonna say, we also need Platinum to make an Angel Ring, because, uh, well, we need to make the Cursed Lasso, and look at that bitch. Um, I think, do we have a Majestic? Oh, I actually do have Majestic. Okay, that's nice. Uh, I don't need to make that anymore. Um, so that's nice, I guess. Woohoo. But, yeah, uh, this is gonna be our next big goal to aim to, but as you can see, uh, uh yeah, yeah, nah, not feeling it. Not feeling it. So, instead, I've been, like, trying to just, uh, well, come up with things that I should probably do. And one of the first things is, uh, get a proper automa automation done, because now I do have the resources, but not the right way to use them properly, if that makes any sense. Like, look at this, I... I got an entire stack of iron just like that, and I'm not gonna need more than a stack of iron if I want to make just a regular old machine. 
Um, so what I'll have to end up doing is uh, get the automation for the automation done, <laughs> which sounds ridiculous, but we're gonna have to do that at some point. But right now, uh, let's get, not with Gaia, um, what you need to do a Elm portal is a portal controller, or controller, I think. I don't know what it's called anymore. Uh, you know, let's just do at Botania. And you can also look this up in your uh, Lexica Batania if you still have that around. But I already know what I'm doing, so no need to... So, what we need is... We need two mana pools. We need uh, two nature pylons. We need... Uh, what else do we need? What else do we need? We need uh, Elven Gateway or Core, that's what it's called. Um, what else? What else? What else? We need Glimmerwood. Uh... And I think that's about it. Well, I guess we also need two more of these. And I guess I could spare some endo flames. I don't know. I, I'm 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 curious. I mean and we could also use um which one was it? I think was it the Rose Arcana? One of these flowers uh eats experience, which is also a good source of mana income, but also endo flames are cheap to make, so I'll just make us some, I guess. Um, so do that. Uh, then, uh, I think that's it, pretty much. Let's get started with the nature pylons, which take regular mana pylons, which take a whole bunch of stuff. And hey, look at that, it's the uh, lens that I made last episode, great. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. Bang, bam. Oh, wait, wait, I thought I went too. Oh, never mind, I just need to do this. All right, uh, we got some of the items done, and now let's continue with some others. Today's teleportation course that I'm gonna need for the uh, Elven teleportation core. It's quite tricky. Actually, I also need star metal, which I don't think we ever made. So I think it's about that time. It's not that hard. The hardest part really is the intermediate ingot. Um, but yeah, it's another Empower recipe. This is not how you make it in a uh, normal Astral Sorcery, obviously. Um, but you can make it like this in this mod pack. So we're just quickly gonna grab some Starlights if I still have some of it somewhere. Oh, yep, I actually do. Um, I should probably be making a Starlight, um, Star Metal Seed because it's a very common material in uh, Astral Sorcery. But uh, I think if I just make Two, wait, I need two exactly, right? Two exactly. Okay, yeah, that's that's gonna be good. Um, I also need platinum, so I hope my miner is better doing some work. Could do a platinum seed, but I think that's like a waste of a tier five seed, honestly. I mean, I could just sand them out the miner. It's, it's, it's essentially the same thing, you know? I can even switch out the lens. Uh, but okay, Elven Gateway Portal. Let's get on it. Let's put them down like uh, this. Let's so blood enter abyss. Let's starlight blood enter abyss starlight. And there you go. Uh, the invisible lasers are doing their thing, and there are children screaming outside. Wonderful, wonderful, just beautiful. Somebody shut those damn things up. Anyway, after a bit of uh, lots of RF. We got some Starlight Metal. Neat! Okay, uh, back to crafting. I think the rest is pretty much... Uh, things that we've already seen so far. Oh. Oh my god, this Empowered and Marotic is not gonna be any issue at all. Mainly because... My my. We... Have infinite Terra Steel now, it just means I'm gonna have to wait for Glowstone to be done. Uh, it's kinda annoying. But, oh well. All right, that is all. That was only a headache and a half. Anyway, here's the teleportation core, and here is the Elven Gateway core. And it's going to use up some ancient dust, but eh, who cares? So, uh, the next thing I need to do is make an elevator, because I can show you this in a second. And let's make them green. I want these elevators green. There you go. Um, well... My caveman brain just went ooga booga, big room, big 
you know, lots of space, but then I realized, hey, this is not even enough for the, you know, portal itself, because you forgot you need, like, more endoflames for the, uh, for the mana pools themselves. So what I'm gonna have to do now is just make a por uh, elevator downwards so I can make an, a, 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 a larger room underneath here. So uh, let's just do that, I suppose. Uh, where is my, there it is, there's my excavator. And okay, this is gonna be a bit messier than I thought because again, our base is kind of just elevated in the middle of air, if you recall. Uh, sure, I'll just, I'll make a bit of a larger room down here. You know, usually plants are supposed to be on the outside stuff, but I guess not in this world. Ugh. Okay, we're just straight down in the cave here. Uh, let me get out my torches really quick. There we go. Uh, death? Oh, hey. Uh, yeah, remember you guys? You guys used to be, like, really scary and all. Yeah. I remember that. I remember those times. Anyway. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, um, let's just kind of mine open an area here. I'll pretty up the place eventually. Probably in a stream or something like that. Now I just need, uh, some space. Let's do this, like, uh, how about one, two, three, four, five. Five in this direction, and then we'll put up a wall. And actually, let's put down the marble already. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. And... Hey, okay, wait, this is where the elevator goes, so... Here and... Here. Alright, beautiful. One, two, three, four... Five. One, two, three, four, five. Then the water will be here. This hive's kind of annoying. Uh, hello, Joxum. And I guess let's just mine this out a bit. Alright. Do I have a scoop on me? I don't think I do. But let's go check. S oh, actually, I do. Okay. Interesting. Well, goodbye. Let's put these drones away. I don't know if I'm ever gonna need these, but... Yeah, sure. Ow. Ow. <laughs> you don't mind me just eating dragon flesh that I acquired from when I was go looking for platinum in the Twilight Forest. Which I've explored actually quite a bit now. And I should probably kill some mobs over there from time to time. Just, you know, change of pace and stuff. But, there we go. I can replace these walls with the exchanger later, so I don't mind. I'll just... There you go. And up here. So, it's not that tall, I think. But it uh takes a bit of space because you need the uh pylons and then you obviously need to power the mana pools underneath the pylons with uh, endo flames or whatever mana that you need uh thankfully the uh portal to alfheim doesn't require all that much um mana to stay open it's uh pretty much zero actually because i've never seen a portal run out of mana before even with very little like input uh it just has a lot of like startup cost so and i don't actually remember how much startup cost it was i think it was like was it like half a pool each i don't know or like half a pool in general uh probably not that. who knows uh but we'll see all right all right and put this away. Let's make the ceiling proper. I'm gonna keep this here because I think if you like uh, obstruct it, it doesn't work properly. So I need to be, get creative on this part right here. 
Uh, I'll figure something out. I'll figure something out. I just use force field blocks to, uh, or camouflage blocks, I think. Oh, there are holes in the ceiling. <laughs> All right. Uh, is this is this is this even tall enough? I don't know. I have so many fossils on me, which I don't need, but I'll sure I'll just put them in my inventory. Uh, let's start out with like actually building the things here that I need. Okay, so I made six endo flames and two mana spreaders, so it's three for each spreader. Let's put a field here and a field here. So now I can put three there and the spreader here. Okay, and three here, and a spreader right here. Okay, and then we'll just quickly plant these. It should be automatically linked. And now uh, we need to go even further here in this direction. Let's go three more. Two, three. And do I have the lexica with me? Because the lexica shows me like where the pylons are supposed to go. All right, and let's go wait this. Man, if only I had a builder. Probably get that on next episode, huh? About that time means I can start working on the beta facility. Anyway. Okay. Uh, let's get the lexica really quick, which I don't know where I have it, actually. Where did I put it? Probably somewhere where I don't need it. Le oh, there it is. Okay. Um, there we go. Get down here. Uh, right click this. Yes, 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 yes. All about Britannia. Uh, not share. Uh... What is it? Is it show notes? No. What do you... Oh, right click. I forgot. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, it is underneath Alphamancy, I think. It's, 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 it's called... Ah, yeah, here. Alphamancy. There we go. And for that, we need the portal to Alphime. And I think on one of these pages... Yep, you can visualize it. So we're just gonna have this phantom structure in our world, and then shift, uh, or right-click it, not shift, right-click, just regular right-click, and then we have our structure here. But this is just the, wait, hold on, is this? Oh, I thought it also gave the pylons thing. Well, if I remember correctly, the pylons just have to be close by it. I don't think they have, like, a specific spot. Anyway, uh, there's actually... I need this glimmer road really quick. Uh, so I'll just make that really quick. It's really easy to make. Even this mod pack, it's just... Uh, living wood and glowstone dust. So let's do that really quick. I need three pieces of it. There you go. And... Glimmer wood. There we go. Put that down here. Bang, bang, bang. It even close. Nice, nice. There, 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 there. And there. Okay, now it needs the pylons, obviously. Um, this doesn't say anywhere in here where uh, the pylons are supposed to go. At least two nature pylons. Uh, Directly below, must be right out in 11 or Okay, it's just an 11 by 11 area. Okay, so they don't need a specific spot. Okay. So let's just put them, like, right across here. There's one. So put the nat Natura Pylon above the mana pool. And same goes for here. Let's do that. And this should be a valid structure now, so all we need have to do is now feed these Endo Flames some coal that we should have lying around plenty actually let's quickly hop over to our um mana farm 
There you go. Should have, like, accumulated a whole bunch. Yeah, look at that. Uh, I disabled the farm for now because the mana is completely filled up, so... Which is a good thing, it just means that I have... Oh, actually, let me let me take a bit of that mana with me, now that I think about it. Uh, where is my ring right here? Means I can get just boosted up. Uh, I need the wand, though. Uh, hold on. Uh, there it is. Give me that. Yeah, we're just gonna take all this. Oh yeah, and I don't think you've ever seen... You guys don't never seen this, but when a Endoflame is full, it just kind of like stores up the remaining mana. Like, it's not really going to waste, it just kind of stores it, I think. But that's what those sparks are, basically. Anyway, uh, we got our mana band almost full. There we go. Just gonna throw this down here. It's gonna save a bit of time. Or I could just actually throw some in here. Uh, whatever. So you don't have to throw it in the center directly. You can just kind of have it on the, the edge. And then we are just going to feed these guys some coal. Here we go. And here we go. And now we're just going to wait until uh, the mana is being distributed. Uh, you don't need to have, like, equal amounts of mana in one pool. You just need two pylons, pretty much. I think as long as one pool has mana, you can sustain the portal. Um, I'm curious. Could I open this now? Uh, I need to get some items anyway, so let me just... Uh, eat some more of this flesh really quick. <laughs> it's good food, okay? It just kind of burns you. Okay, uh, put away the scoop. Um, my mum, my mum. Now let's think about what I need. So, I need to throw my lexica through, I need to throw some class through. Is there actually anything that I need right now other than, like, Elf class. Well, I need a whole bunch of thing, things actually, but I think that's good for now. We we'll just leave this portal right there. How long is this episode? I don't even know. Because uh, I've been recording for, I think, uh, like one and a half hour now. Huh. Um, I kind of want to start by automating the dust. Then, or making more seeds is what I want to do, kind of. Um, but that wouldn't quite fill the episode now, would it? <laughs> that would just be me cutting out more stuff. Oh boy, I can tell that this is going to be a delayed episode again. Uh, 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 so, okay. Hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. Uh, next up, we should make the angel ring, I think. Yeah? Yeah? Angel ring? Is it that time? I think it's that time. Okay. Uh, okay. Angel. Empowered Emeraldic, not a problem. We can just throw in some more Glowstone. Uh, the Cursed Lasso, we have a Majestic Ingot for that. Don't we actually have a Lasso still, actually? Uh, I think it's in the table, actually. Okay, I prepared some of the stuff in here. Uh, this isn't the wrong table, actually. <laughs> okay, um... So, in here, right. We need to make the Cursed Lasso, which is the Drop of Evil. And the Drop of Evil is a bit of a more complicated material. Uh, usually, uh, in regular mod packs, you can get a Drop of Evil. Uh, it's, a, it's a rare drop from Wither Skeletons. It turns the grass into Cursed Grass, which spawns like a billion mobs. Uh, it turns the regular grass on, like... Uh, when I think Sun makes contact with it, but um, uh, yeah. But in this case, we need to manually craft one, and as you can see, it's pretty beefy. Diamond Promise Acceptor, that means a lot of blood proxy, which we do actually have uh, right here. Uh, I prepared a bit of it in advance, so our next goal is, I think, to just make this drop of evil. 
So let's go ahead and do just that, I guess. Okay, there's a small problem. Uh, I need blood. I need a lot of blood. Like, a lot of blood. Why? Uh, well, because we need these diamond promise acceptors. Not only do these take 160,000 millibuckets of blood, uh, I also need the promise of tenacity too, uh, which uh, requires me to get a bunch of these promise acceptors, which I do have. Uh, I think I got the iron acceptor, but I need the gold acceptor still, which all take like 40,000. And, you know, killing mobs is fine. It's a decent, like, amount of blood that I can get from it. I just need to fill up this uh, tin tank a couple of times. Or, you know what, I can even use the emerald tank, which I don't have on me, I think. Uh, because it probably still has super glue in it. And, you know what, I'm gonna do that, actually. I'm gonna get the emerald tank. Um, if I have it somewhere lying around, uh, it's probably somewhere. Is it in here? Where's the emerald tank? Oh, there it is. I just saw it. Oh, no, it's empty right now. Okay, I guess I emptied out the super clue some time ago. Uh, wait, why is there still blood in there? Okay, never mind. It just was lagging behind. Okay. Okay, get this emerald tank and okay. And obviously the nether is the best way to just go around and kill some mobs, um, especially with our newly found sword, that shouldn't be a problem at all. But you can also find blood de deposits in the nether. In the Arctic Abyss biome, which is a rather dangerous biome. But uh, we can fly, so that's not really an issue. <laughs> okay. Uh, first of all, we need to find an Arctic Abyss, though, so let's just, uh, fly around a bit. Oh, there we go. There are, there is a blood deposit to that. Alright. There we go. Just, are you angry? No, you're not angry. Okay. Uh, let me just quickly free up some room. Alright. And then let's go put this here. We're just trying our best here. And erase anything that tries to approach us. This is gonna be a whole bunch of blood, thankfully. Uh how much blood? I don't know. But we'll just keep on This is wait. Oh that's not the same blood. For real? Are you for real? Uh, hold on. And we're gonna have to do this. There we go. Uh, I think that might be the Tinker's blood, but if I real quickly, um, it accepts both blood, so... Yeah, let's just throw all of this in here. Uh, the base juggernauts can't move as long as they're on the ground, so they're not gonna approach me, because none... I think biome, uh, mobs that are not, like, native to the biome... Oh, uh, they're kind of native, I guess only some are affected, because these guys are not affected, but why the blaze juggernauts? I don't know. They just kind of freeze up here. Uh... I forgot if the... are, are the blaze juggernauts from Nether X? I'm not sure. Alright, I, I, I can't explain to myself why they are up. No, no, you guys don't. They freeze you if you attack, uh, if they attack you, and then you can't move nor attack back, which can lead to some disgusting combos happening. So I'd rather have them merp as quickly as possible. Anyway, uh, let me just quickly erase you from history. Alright, next up. Let's train. This thing, the worst thing that could possibly happen is like a Nitro Creeper just casually running up, but I don't know if they can spawn here in this biome. Alright. Hey, look, we filled like 8% of the tank, yet we still do not have enough blood for even like one Diamond Promise Acceptor. And if that happens, I guess I'll just go and, uh... 
start another grinding method, maybe, that is also pretty efficient in flood. But that would require me to set up something else, which I mean, I'm gonna set it up anyway, one way or the other, because I think it's a cool thing to do. Um... Yeah, oh, come on. There we go. Anybody want to mess with me? This is so broken. Uh, hold on, let me get my... Uh, where's the... Oh, there it is. Yep, fill this up. Alright. Uh, hold on, there's one more. One more source block. Wonderful. Okay, uh, that's... Like, one done, I think? Um, there's one more. What? Okay, it wasn't- it was a ghosting block. Uh, I don't think there's any more blood here, but I'll just take a quick look around. Oh, never mind. There is even more blood here. Alright. Let's get on it. So, the other way that you could get a lot of blood is just, like, create a, a dimension that's just filled with life essence. Or, uh, blood. Whatever. Whatever you need. Uh, well, you know. But that would require me to actually make that dimension, which would require patterns, and I don't have the time for that. So, we're just gonna abuse the nether a bit. And collect a lot of blood, as you can see. Oh, actually, never mind. We already had a uh, gold promise acceptor, which is handy, I guess. So, let's make the tenacity too, I think. Uh, Alright, so that's gold and iron too. Yep, we do have that, as a matter of fact. And uh, we also need potential duck gem, gold apple, and reinforced slates. I don't think I have reinforced slates, but actually, oh uh, no, that's an imbued slate, right? Uh, in which case, I will just get out my handy book and buy some slates, because slates take forever to make, so. Uh, this is a good use of my money. Um, there it is. Uh, reinforced slates. Wasn't that also, like, a really high one? So I should just... It's a third one. Ah, fine. I'll pay money for the third one. I don't care. Fight me on it. Come on. Detect. There you go. Uh, so we have this done. <laughs> Uh, is that the quest? Is this this quest right here, or is that part of Black Magic? Oh, it actually is part of Black Magic. Ah, neat. Okay, um... So yeah, we did those slates, definitely. 100% legit. And... Now we need... Ahem. Nasty. Let me just add that. So we need a Potential Sphere, which is a bunch of this stuff. Uh, which we should have. Okay, and a bit of dark magic essence, and there we go. There is our promise of tenacity too. So let's just uh, replace that in here, or can I just add it? Okay, I'll have to replace it, but always remember, if you're replacing things, better just take out the blood. Uh, oh, but no, I'm adding the blood. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Shift. Click. Uh, it'll just like this, I guess. Uh, why? Because if you, um, well, remove the Promise of Tenacity, which... Why can't I...? Oh, okay. So you just instantly replace it. Okay, that's that's cool, I guess. Um, you just have to click it and then it switches automatically. Because if you if I were to take th this out, I think, and replace it for a lower one, um, or if I break it, I think. Hold on. Yeah, it will break and all the blood that was, like, uh, that was in, like, the additional storage from the upgrade... It's gone. Just straight up gone. Anyway, uh, put this in here, and oh god, I'll be clicking a lot. <laughs> uh... Ah! Okay, uh, we need a whole bunch of stuff. So, now that we have 160,000, we just need to fill this thing up <laughs> with all this blood. Which is going to take a while, so we'll just... Just be patient with me here, okay?
Okay, now that it's full, it's gonna transform, and I un this process also takes forever. Like, actually forever. So, in the meantime, we're gonna- I'm just gonna collect some more blood, and, uh, yeah. I'll see you when that's done, I guess. Alrighty then, alright. Uh, evil infused powder. So, uh, we- I need evil infused ingots, and... Obviously, they're kind of expensive, and I'm not gonna get evil infused powder anytime soon. And I don't think I need ancient dust for anything uh, in a while, so I think I am free to just kind of use it right now. Uh, if I need more ancient dust, I'll just go grind a bit more, but that's okay. I'll just use it now. Uh, but I think this is the first time we've ever used the liquid refined boosting mixture, which I am going to use right now. Here, so that is one, two, three, four operations. Yeah, sure. Um, and we're just gonna throw it in here. Uh, now I hope that this one works. So just like this. Okay, thank God. Um, I remember having an experience where it wouldn't like something wouldn't work because of the uh, enchantment that the ancient dust can have. Anyway, we're just gonna. Run these through really quick, all right. And now we have eight evil ingots. Great. Uh, let's press them all. And there we go. Obviously, I, uh, I don't think I ever showed off how to make boost raw boosting mixture, but uh, I'll leave that up to another episode. For now, I'll just keep those in the back whenever I'll need them for a big resource. Um, but now back to crafting the angel ring. Alright, I just finished an impromptu genocide of the Enderman, and that's how I got the rest of the blood. And that should be almost all. Now we need some, uh, what was it? What do we, what do we, what do we need? We needed uh, Essence of the Gods and some Uzgu glass. So, Essence of the Gods, uh, we do have a bit here. Um, which means we need white powder and... Dark magic. There we go. A bit of this, uh, so four of each. And I guess we can do something smart here in a second. What magic? Okay, we still have this. Um, you can't really boost these together, can you? Like, it doesn't make a difference. You can't even use them in the... Yeah, you can't. Okay. Then I'll just throw these in here. Just like that. Uh, we can actually make use of the... Uh, actually, never mind. There's some sin gas in there. I can't empty it out. Uh, whatever. Then I'll just... Wait, was it four or three buckets? Uh, hold on. I'm checking the wrong thing. It's three buckets. Okay, then that's good. And everything's okay. Alright, we should have enough platinum now for the thingamabob, uh, the lasso. So throw this in here. One, two, three. Boop, 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 boop. And in here. Ah, uh, there you go. Here is the drop of evil. All of those resources gone. And now we just open up here, and I need more string. Uh, there we go. And there we go. This is the cursed lasso. Similar to the uh, golden lasso, it can capture mobs, but also hostile mobs. Um, if the hostile mob is at half a heart. So one HP, I think. Uh, and now we can just throw these in here, right? And now we need Uzga Glass. Um, a lot of Uzga Glass. Uh, do we have any? We have two ingots. Okay, hold on. Uh, let's quickly check. That's 3,024. Okay, 3,024. That's a lot of ingots. Uh, 21 ingots. Okay. Uh, let me just quickly check how do you make this glass again. Uh, lowstone, refined, osmium. Yikes, that's annoying. So I will need 
18 rounds of each. Oh, wait. Yeah, I do have already one, so I have 19, so I do need... Okay. So I do need 10 of each. Right. 10 of each, and that all should be good. Close stone. Uh, oh, we have close stone. A oh, good thing that I made some more close stone. Um, I don't think we have any refined obsidian, but I can change that really quick. Uh, just needed some. That's obsidian, right? Need to polarize some things down. Uh, some diamonds and osmium is no problem at all. So let's quickly make all of these. Are you kidding me? I can't melt Uzgoglass. I have to put it in. Okay. My god. You can be so annoying sometimes, DDSS, you know that? Anyway, put that stone tank here, and then you can just fill it up. And there we go. Mine that, put that back, and uh, make it on the block. Put it in, and last thing we need is the squid ring, and uh, put these in the right order. Oh, what the hell? Okay, uh, what, what, whatever. Uh, hey, ring, woohoo! So, uh, first of all, uh, we need to come to a unanimous decision, okay? The angel ring comes in a couple of forms. You can have the, uh, I think these are the angel wings, the fairy wings, the dragon wings, sort of like, uh, the gold wings, or the bat wings, I think. Um, these are the best wings, and you cannot convince me otherwise. Also, it gives me these beautiful looking wings, and now I can fly. I have full creative flight, no more fall damage, look how fast I am. God. Oh. This is gonna make things a whole lot easier <laughs> from now on. Especially like long term travels. My, my. Feels so weird finally being able to fly around so fast. Um, that's, but it takes a bit more GP. Now it takes 32 instead of 16, but for creative flight, that is <laughs> a cheap price to pay. Um, anyway. Uh, I have been recording for almost two and a half hours. I'm going to have to see how long this episode is. <laughs> because I don't know. Half of this episode you're not going to see because it's all just, all just crafting. But I'm gonna take a break right now, so, uh, you'll see an outro if this is the end of the episode. Goodbye. Uh, uh, of, I mean, of course. Um, uh, thank you so much for watching this episode of Dungeons, Dragons, and Space Shuttles. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya!